Right, equations with brackets, let's go. <clears throat> okay, so we can't divide through by three or two. Well, we could, but then we'd end up with fractions. So the easiest thing to do is multiply everything inside the brackets by the number outside. So we're gonna do that first. Remembering that the second one is minus two. So three times x is three x. Three times minus two is minus six. Minus two times x is minus two x and minus 2 times positive 1 is minus 2 and that equals to 5 so now we gather like terms 3x minus 2x is x well that's useful minus 6 minus 2 is minus 8 and that is equal to 5 and now we're going to add 8 to both sides we already have x by itself so therefore x is equal to 13. All right, same thing here. We can't divide by the 4 or the 3. So let's multiply in. 4 times x is... Ooh, we need a pen. 4 times x is 4x. 4 times minus 1 is minus 4. Minus 3 times x is minus 3x. And minus 3 times 2 is minus 6. And that equals 26. Let's gather like terms. 4x minus 3x. Ooh, that's very useful again. X. Minus 4 minus 6 is minus 10 is equal to 26. Therefore, x, adding 10 to both sides, is equal to 36. Right, 3 times 2x is 6x. Oh, need a pen. Uh, 6x. 3 times 1 is 3. Minus 2 times 2 is minus 4x. Minus 2 times minus 1 is positive 2, and that equals 11. Gather like terms, 6x minus 4x is 2x. Not this lucky this time. 3 plus 2 is 5, is equal to 11. Minus 5 from both sides, 2x is equal to 6, and therefore x is equal to 3, dividing both sides by 2. All right, multiplying in by 9, we get, no, need a pen, I keep doing that. Um, 9 times x is 9x, minus 18, minus 6x, minus 3 times minus 3 is plus 9. And that's equal to 12. So 9x minus, ooh, the group-like terms, 9x minus 6x is 3x. Minus 18 plus 9 is minus 9 is equal to 12. So therefore 3x is equal to 21. Therefore x is equal to 7, dividing both sides by 3. All right, this one I'm going to divide through by 2. And if I divide through, I mean I'm going to actually draw it just to show what I'm doing. So I'm going to divide this in entire side by 2 and I divide that side by 2 so 2 and what I have to do is each of these is a whole term remember terms um, so this is a term and this is a term so I must divide each of those by 2 um, cool so 2 divided by 2 is 1 so we've got 5x minus 7, minus 6 divided by 2 is minus 3, and 2x minus 3 is equal to naught. Now we've got one bracket left, so 5x minus 7, minus 6x, minus 3 times minus 3 is plus 9 equals naught. And 5x minus 6x is minus x, minus 7 plus 9 is plus 2, equals naught minus x is equal to minus 2 dividing both sides by minus 1 x is equal to 2. Okay we're going to try the same one again except we're going to multiply through <coughs> 2 times 5x is 10x oh need a pen if I do that again are oh, you cookies 10x 2 times minus 7 is minus 14 Minus 6 times 2 is minus 12x. Minus 6 times minus 3 is positive 18. And minus times minus is plus. 
and that is equal to naught. Group like terms, 10 minus 12 is minus 2x, minus 14 plus 18 is plus 4 equals naught. Subtract 4 from both sides, minus 2x is equal to minus 4. Divide both sides by negative 2, x is equal to negative oops, positive 2, because of negative divided by negative, is a positive. And look, it's the same answer. Yay. Okay, multiplying by 3, I can't divide through here. So, let's do 3 times. Alright, 3 times 3 is 9x, 3 times 2 is 6, minus 4 times 3 is minus 12x, minus 4 times minus 3 is plus 12, and then equals naught. 9x minus 12 is minus 3x, plus 6 plus 12 is plus 18, equals naught. Uh, minus 3x, subtract 18 from both sides, is minus 18, divide both sides by negative 3, and x is equal to 6. Negative divided by negative is a positive. Okay, yep. don't want to divide by 4, so 4 times 3 is 12x, minus 4. So there's actually a minus one outside here if you get confused by just a negative sign. So it's negative times x is negative x, negative one x, negative one times negative two is positive two, and that equals 42, the answer to the universe and everything. So this is a very important sum. 12x minus x is 11x. Minus four plus two is minus two equals 42. 11x is equal, adding 2 to both sides, equal to 44, and x is equal to 4. Fabulous. It's a similar sum. 2 times 2 is 4x. 2 times minus 1 is minus 2. Once again, it's just a negative. So you can imagine there's a negative 1 outside here. Negative 1 times x is negative x, and negative 1 times positive 5 is negative 5, and that equals 5. Group like terms, 4x minus x is 3x, minus 2 minus 5 is minus 7, equals 5. We add 7 to both sides, 3x is equal to 12, 5 plus 7 is 12, therefore x is equal to 4, dividing both sides by 3. Oh, multiplying by 4, 4 times 3 is 12, minus 4 times 5 is 20x, minus 7 times 5 is minus 35, and minus 7 times minus 4 is positive 28x plus 3 at the end there, equal to 0. Group like terms, uh, minus 20 plus 28, well that just leaves us with 8x. And we got 12 minus 35. So let's do a positive 12 plus 3 is 15. 15 minus 35 is minus 20. Equals 0. Therefore x, 8x is equal to positive 20. And x is equal to 20 over 8. Which I'm sure reduces down. Cool. Last one. 5 times 3 is 15x. 5 times negative 2 is negative 10, minus 9 times 2 is minus 18, and minus 9 times 4 is minus 36x, minus 7 equals 0. Notice I'm not multiplying that number at the end by anything, this minus 7, it just, it just stays there. There it is there, and there it is there. Nothing happens to that. So, group like terms, 15x minus 30x is minus, what's that, 21? 21x. Group my numbers, minus 10, minus 18, minus 7, they're all negative. That's minus 28, minus 35, equal to naught. Adding 35 on both sides, minus 21x equals 35. Dividing both sides by negative 21, x is equal to negative 
thirty-five over twenty-one.